Bones could talk, speak three letters of infamy Melbourne City, canvas to a modern age Da Vinci Looked at criminally, whole time making history Blank walls the only crime, ain't it a pity? It's so true, but it's not me, it's you You know my weakness, and I know yours too And I'll use it as often as I can against you But you're my knight in shining armor Right, we are back here at Got Beat for the Worlds Part 2. We're about to get into a much anticipated battle. This is some of that WRC throwback shit, so I know some of you Melbourne cats are feeling it. Right, first of all, to my right, we got Chase, make some noise for him. Yeah. It's the finest of fourth wise men. I bought the gift with our store, buying in the north, frying bad man. I stay higher than four choirs. Spitting the facts, hitting the wax, yo, buy a try, spitting it back. You're slipping on tracks like ball tires. Liars and motherfuckers. That's how we do. Alright, to my left, we got my co host, Nip Flo, gonna announce the next MC. To my left, we got man, Dragonfly. MKAMusic.com, check that shit out, it's definitely legit. Alright, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna call to the right, you've come the furthest way, do you want heads or tails? Heads or tails? Heads or tails? Alright, we're about to have round one of Dragonfly, 60 seconds, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, hailing from a chic hole known as Adelaide, Australia, weighing in at a weight of four kilograms, standing six feet and two inches, is Chase Ratface Britain. See, he masturbates with lace mittens. He does all sorts of shit, but he likes to moisturize his face with paint thinner. He eats dead rats of hubcaps and says things like, thanks mum, that was a great dinner. <laughs> it's amazing that a man is handicapped ain't bitter. We all know Chase spits with a lisp. But it ain't a figure of speech when we say Chase is a great spitter. <laughs> His problem is, he likes predicting punchlines. But he was born a dumb, bungai punk nine months after some young, dumb guys come dried in his mum's thighs in the sunlight. Yeah. Either that, or Master Splinter raped her ass and stinked her. <laughs> after she moved to the sewers to hide from Adelaide's harshest winter. In fact, Chase was raised there for years. That's the reason he squeaks like a little rat when he decoy pulls on his ears. Oh, Time, right. Time. Right. Hey, 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 your mum knitted me a pair of gloves because she's so cold I had to finger her with. <laughs> hey, you would never fly. So how the fuck's your name Dragonfly when every time you try to get a plane they ban your flights because you're over standard size to stand inside the cab and ride with your random height? Good news, bro, though, wherever you go, your bags arrive. And it's kind of funny, this guy's a dummy. In Brisbane, the price of ice is like twice the money, so he moved to Melbourne to help him fit in right as a junkie. Yeah. The fuck you with all those whack raps that you got? Looking like such a junkie, he'd steal a needle from a tattoo shop. <laughs> and I got a dope flow, so kid test the violence. He should invest in silence, because it looks like Ronald Dole went and did some tests in science and reinvented the demented, big, friendly giant. <laughs> and these guys are more than a morbid issue when I torch and diss you, I'm sick enough to take your whore and fist through to the pussy walls of Bin Bruce. This is your dismissal. After DF got booed off stage in the UK, don't block base their league's name on your initials. Like a useless crippled Stuart Little with a speech impediment. He's like, um, got beast first lady because he sleeps with the president. <laughs> it's obvious that Chase would win in a contest of how to eat cheddar. In fact, his every breath already sounds like it's being compressed and then sent through the ether. The problem is, this contest is based on who can speak better, and you're so fucking monotone. That's what happens when you're raised with mixed up chromosomes all alone in a fixed up motorhome. Yeah. That's the good thing. Because no one's missing you when I'm killing you. 
Fuck, I would trade your life for Amy Winehouse right now because that's someone you could actually listen to. <laughs> you look like Steve Buscemi playing the role of a greasy junkie. Back when Chase was a baby, people actually thought his mum was breastfeeding a monkey. <laughs> this dude is the ugliest guy in the game and yet he's trying to talk it up. Dude, you've done so many battles, Chase, I just wonder, how come you're still awkward as fuck? <laughs> I don't time. Time. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I would win this if I was silent. But even if my mouth did move, yeah, I got a list. So all I gotta do is flip one word and I'd outspit you. You see, I'm in it for war. I'll start fisting his whore and give that bitch more hits down under than Sydney Lauper on a Sydney tour. Yeah. Fuck, see, I'll fuck your girl roar if I don't happen to serve you. And then I'll pull out quicker than you did in your battle with Cursor. Hey, hey, hey. And since my girlfriend left me, well, I've been crooked for sure. But I don't need hookers and whores since I hooked up with yours. <laughs> and on tracks, I'll leave him shooken and torn, and I'm a butcher, so you know what I put in the hook is just raw, and these lyrics should be put in a book in a store. I treat this whack cat the same way I look at the law. Bag it. So I'll take him straight to the store and place his face in manure. Based on the sound of his voice, I thought Professor Green was here on an Australian tour. Yeah. Hey, hey, see I show him down. You can't rhyme now with the master. Hey, shame skills. What the fuck's a foobex, cunt? Well, he's there, so go find out the answer. Oh. Oh, let's, go. let's get the last round of Dragonfly. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm Shane Skills. I'm impressed you could understand it, dude. You must be pissed off that a figment of my imagination has like ten times more fans than you. But it's funny how Chase tries to talk violent because he's a fight fan. But what's embarrassing is he's better known as Larrikin's hype man. Fuck, and you ain't hitting with right hand when you battle a dude of my height, man. In fact, we know he needs a bunch of shoe boxes just to adjust the height of his mic stand. And I've been meaning to ask, what the fuck is up with your freaking face? It looks like you got hit with a cellar door and then fixed up with sticky tape. <laughs> nah, it looks like Skeletor got raped by a disfigured ape. What I'm trying to say is, it's freaking strange. Compared to him, I feel like I'm as pretty as Vinny Chase dressed at his best on a dinner date with two Brazilian babes. <laughs> nah, that's just ridiculous. I will spit until you're sick of this. He's talking about him getting girls, but I got more chicks than a bigamist. The fact is this, you could only beat me at a game of who's got the crookedest teeth. If we did cut to the chase, we could replace this whole battle with a short video snippet of a judge going, yeah, what up, I'm MC who, whatever. Uh, I reckon Dragonfly took it in three. Peace. Dragonfly ain't your standard type. Nope, he's a bitch on the outer, but a man inside because he... Stands beside the lamps that shine to satisfy random guys for cash supplies because the dragon flies a drag at night. Hey, I flew all the way down from Brisbane. I had to catch a plane to plan my flights to land on time. I'm pissed off having trouble understanding why I couldn't dragon fly. See, I'm not purposely trying to diss him. I'm just concerned with your condition. I just want to know when Coney from The Simpsons turned to pot and drinking. See, I just blaze it and bag it. It's ironic, he's the heroin addict, but I'm the one chasing the dragon. Yeah. Hey, in school you could have been above average, but with your young habits, when the teacher asked you what you wanted to be when you grew up, you threw up and said a drug addict. And it looks like you stuck at it, and you clutched at it. So when a teacher said hitting him with a belt would help, you know how this junkie reacted? He said, hell, I fucking love a smack hit. Baby. Alright, we're here with the world's part two. We're gonna go to the judges, we'll be right back. Alright, so we're here with the judges' decision. We got blue here. Obviously an intense battle, man anticipated, you know, WRC WRC 07 throwback battle. Who do you think won? I think I'd probably have to give it to Chase. I think his bars were just hitting that little bit harder, but uh, yeah, really good battle, really tight. Alright, cool. Let's go to our next judge. Alright, Arrows, you've just seen Chase vs. Dragonfly, WRC07, throwback battle, kind of crazy. Who do you think won all overall? Well, um, I think Chase had the first two rounds definitely, and the last one was a bit close to us, so I'd probably give it to Chase. Crowd reaction is probably like, messing with the MCs a bit, like maybe they should like, you know, react a bit more and shit. 
like, yeah, that's basically all I've got to say. Shouts to 4 One's finest. We can grind something now. Simple as that. All right, that's what's up. Let's get Reed J. All right, so Reed let's get that judge's decision. We had Chase versus Dragonfly. Very intense battle. Obviously, people have been waiting for it for a long time. Based on the three rounds, who do you think won that? Fucking, um, welcome back, fucking Dragonfly, man, all the way from the WRC back then. Uh, i got to say, like, uh, break it down like this. I reckon um, Chase took it in three. I'm um, due to consistency and um, confidence. Uh, I loved uh, how Dragonfly real went, came up with real confidence. It had real dope bars. So, like, um, give much respect to Dragonfly, but, like, Chase took it both. All right, we are here at Gut Beat for the World's Part 2. We just had a much anticipated battle. Some WRC 07 shit. I don't even want to play it out. But based on the three rounds, the judges have given it to Chase. Make some noise for you.